Don't just allow anybody into your camp. Don't just allow anybody into your camp. New guys coming up, you know, they, they automatically come up and think that brothers are supposed to uh, automatically receive them, you know? And it's like, first off, you have to come up in a humble uh, spirit, man, you know? If you're not, if you're not uh, uh, humble, you know, brothers ain't going to... You, you, you ain't, chances of you coming in ain't ain't likely, man. You know, you you can't be on the on the uh, side, you know, uh, cussing out uh, Edomites. You have to you have to understand what this this truth is really about. So when it was hot, you know, brothers brothers took it. You know, it was hot as shit. But the guy who who, who came out, he wanted to try to join the camp. You know, this guy he took a seat in the seat. You know, sat down, and it was like, <laughs> if you. you you know, you, you you you're not ready. You can't you can't possibly be ready for this thing, man. But brothers ain't ain't going to just throw your garment and just you know invite you over to the crib. You know you 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 uh can we we start breaking bread with you on on a personal level at the at the crib. You know you get brothers phone numbers. That's not going to happen, man. And we can't allow niggas to come into our camp because niggas like to try to set up discourse or they not using wisdom you know they're not really down for this truth and we can't allow niggas to come into our camp niggas to come into our camp is the camp that's that's the church of y'all by some y'all side niggas to come into our camp niggas to come into our camp niggas to come into our camp I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakah HaKwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Okay, and Shalom also to the hopefully elect laboring in sincerity. And I want to touch on a video. Uh, and this is where the spirit is going right now at, at this point. Um, don't a response. Let me say that to the other brother in my camp, Taza Warrior. Um, he did a video a few months back. Don't just let anyone in the camp. And I wanted to do a response for that before, but uh, so many other things came up. But uh, as we see, the Lord has it where it's time to do the response. Okay. Uh, this is not America's Got Talent, okay? <laughs> and, it, and you know, a lot of Jake got the feminine vibration, like women, the camera's rolling, and uh, uh, this is what they see, okay? They get locked into that camera, and they look at it as some form of social event, okay? I'm talking about a social event of, of, of the world, not of the truth. A lot of these guys don't really even believe in the truth. They're just up here because it's like a boys club, okay? Uh, Esau didn't cut out all kinds of recreations in the neighborhoods. So Jake has missed out on it, so he's capitalizing and found a niche to try to come into the truth by looking at these uh, the men of the Lord prophesying on the highways and hedges of uh, something to be a part of, okay? Um, you have to watch out for weirdos and I'll get into that in a second because even in our camp here in Baltimore man and I know in other brothers camps and cities too but you have to have the weirdest of the weirdos here man I'm telling you man this place has got to be destroyed but th these weirdos are stumbling blocks and are tune ups okay and you're supposed to learn from it 
And again, this is not addressing any brothers, you know, camps or whatever, but if it helps, it helps. You know, I'm sure brothers already understand how this thing goes, especially heads and elders of camps. Okay, this is Philippians 3 and 2. Uh, it says, beware of dogs. Okay, these people are shameless, man, like dogs. Beware of evil workers, Salakia. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers. Beware of the concision. Okay, so when you go into the word concision, it really means to cut up, you know, or basically like to mutilate. Con meaning with, and scission means to cut. That's where I believe you get the word scissors from. Guys are just waiting on the outskirts to wait to come in to cut up the doctrine, man. Jake, who has missed something in their, their family, their household, maybe their mother, they missed a little much or not enough, who knows, um, maybe there's drug addiction involved, which we witnessed in the camp as well, okay, there, these, there are tons of weirdos, and in order to come into a camp, you must prove yourself, and honestly, it's up to the camp, okay, seniority, to say whether it's okay or not. Really, it's up to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh if you're praying enough, to say whether it's okay or not to come into the fold. Okay, and obviously, if someone's really sincere about getting into the fold, they will wait until their time to come in. When somebody continuously wants that garment, you got to be careful of what this guy, what this guy is into, man. Um, we've had agents. We've had guys that we could clearly look at. And see that they were so clean cut. I'm not talking about just the hair lined up. They had their goddamn nails lined up. <clears throat> okay. And super clean. You know. And I, you know. I've asked the guy. Are you in law enforcement? Or uh, 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 something of that nature. Were you in the military law enforcement? He claims. Yeah. I used to be a police. You know what I mean. I, and. But he was reluctant to speak on that before. Until I brought it out. So Sometimes. You know, brothers have to communicate. Even with guys outside standing that's looking on the phone to come in. They must be tried and tested too. Questions must be asked. Okay, it's getting to the point that, and it should have been to the point, I believe it's to the point anyway, that you have to endure to come in. The scripture says, he endure till the end, the same shall be saved. Well, first you got to endure to even come in before you can endure to get to the end. This thing goes on levels, man. Okay? This is Jude, and this is just a quick response. Okay? The brother pretty much put all the scriptures, broke it down correctly, and I just always have to add my two cents or whatever you want to call to it. Okay? I mean, these are weirdos, man. Weirdos that may have just got out of some form of institution. I mean, who knows where these people come from? And as uh, basically, as I did the video yesterday, there was a guy who came up, and we didn't know anything about him, but it was, you know, I asked him questions. You know, I, I need to know about this guy. You're not just going to come up. Now, you're coming up with your pen and pad, and you want to listen. That's your prerogative. That's what you do. But if you're looking to get into the fold, be prepared uh, to get scrutinized, okay, to have uh, questions asked, okay, I mean, it's, that's how it's getting, you had Jake come up, laying down with a, uh, getting a two for three Gatorade, laying on the side, flopping in the grass, like we at Memorial Park or some shit, man, he couldn't stand out in the sun and endure with us doing the work, because where we were at was pretty hot, and he went and got his two Gatorades, came over to the, under the tree, flopped down under the tree, and, and drank his water, drank his Gatorade, man. Which, in that kind of heat, you shouldn't be drinking Gatorade any damn way, man. Okay? I, I don't know, that's another video. You need your electrolytes, some pink Himalayan salt or whatever the case, lemon juice, uh, but mainly good water. You know, with the electrolytes in it. 
But this, what this guy was doing, and of course you can't say no, you can't listen or whatever. And that, if he wants to flop down under a tree with some sandals on and a Kango hat on his head and some gazelle glasses, he could do that. But in order for the crossover to the next phase, just like any academy, you got to prove yourself, man. And honestly, I heard that's kind of little stories of how it happened up in uh, the main camp. You just don't come in to the camp. And I know guys want the fruit, but not all fruit is good fruit, man. And uh, as the term saying, one bad apple spoils the bunch. This is Second Peter 2 and 1. But there were false prophets among the people. Even as, even as there shall be false teachers amongst you, who shall privily, um, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies. Now, how do they bring in damnable heresies? It's because these false teachers had to cross over from a line to get into your camp in order to bring in these damnable heresies, man. If they never it was crossed over to get into your camp, they could never bring in these damnable heresies. Now, uh. To a degree, you can't stop it all the time because there's going to be some people who come in who seem very sincere, uh, laying it out straight. But you can almost see when the weakening begins and the, the, the doctrines come. A lot of guys, look man, and I'll just put it on the table. And this can happen to all camps, I'll say that. This is Great Millstone is not the only one this, this, this has happened to. You can believe that. This has happened to all camps, man. Let's put it on the table. But Great Millstone seem to be popular. Because they're the ones people want to run to. And they're the ones that people want to talk about. Okay? Now, there's other camps that people run to as well. But we've seen cases in the IUIC where guys came in and they took in what they learned as to be an Israelite. And then went right back to the Christian church. I mean, guys are going to get on GMS or Great Millstone because we're the most hated, obviously because of this behavior, but we just seen the same thing happen to IUIC, but uh, I don't see many videos going up about a guy leaving IUIC. I don't know, that's just another video in itself as well. But there's guys who've left IHBK. Okay, there's guys who've left GLCC. There's guys who've left H HODC. You can't tell me all those guys that came in 20 years ago are there today. Well, half of the leaders uh, didn't stay uh, when they first came in the truth. Okay? But there's no videos on that. But the videos, and I'll say with Apostle Tahar and, um, all, you know, starting with Apostle Tahar and the other apostles, and some of the elders that stayed, there's no videos on them staying. You see how that goes? But that's how it's supposed to go. Anyway, the more the video is, you just can't really let anyone into your camp, man. You might have a molester in your camp. You just never know. He might be a, a homo of um, relapsing homo he might play the part look tough and he might be a relapser okay he might be an adulterer praying to get over your house to do a video or a live stream praying to try to lay up with your woman if he can or to take her I mean we've seen this happen on occasions with guys as well okay verse 2 this is 2 Peter 2 and 2 and many shall follow their pernicious ways Okay, many shall follow their pernicious ways. And that word, I believe, is going into destroying and utter destruction. Okay, you got guys that's going to follow their destructive ways, man. They never sincerely came into the truth of Yahweh Bashem You know, they, they never ever actually came in because they wanted to be into the truth. Okay, what they wanted to do was some of my agents actually. Some of them are set up. Now, this other guy that did uh, leave uh, the truth, who was never in the truth, I don't know how that happens. I don't know how you leave something that you never was in. But anyway, in that video, uh, you know, and I go into details and in listening. In that video, he said, all is, he want all of Israel to know him. So that should tell you something right there. And I reluctant, I left that out of the video, but I'll say it in this one. This guy said he wanted all Israel to know him. And I don't give a goddamn if all Israel know me or not. That's not what I'm in this thing for. You are in here to do a reasonable service. 
Okay? It said the scriptures say that. You have a reasonable service, a reasonable duty to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Okay? And in some cases, it's not always reasonable. You know, but to the Lord, everything is reasonable. He does it the way He does it. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh does it. This is not our show. This is only about waking up the elect. This is only about bringing in the fruit. And we understand that bringing in the fruit, you got to, when you cast the net to bring in a bunch of fish, we understand some going to come in the fold and you got to take those fish and throw them out. But sometimes when you see that dirty fish floating around your net, you got to shoo that fish away. Don't let them get on your net. Don't let them destroy the rest of the fish. Don't let no piranha into the group of your fish so that piranha could eat up all your goddamn fish. Okay? Don't let no spoiled cancerous fish get into your fish and mess up your food. Don't let that mold get into your food and destroy your um, your fruit, man. Okay? Or your your um your basically your peace, so to speak. Don't let no fruit get in there, no bad fish get in there and destroy uh, your the flock. Okay? Hey, look, man, that's why uh, uh, Jake is, you know, the Israelites is considered sheep. Okay? Delicate. Okay? Or innocent fish to a degree, man. Because you got piranhas and, and bad fish that'll chew them. You got wolves that'll chew and eat up your goddamn sheep. Okay? So you got to be careful of that, man. Okay. Um, anyway, let's go to Second Peter Let's go on and jump on down to verse 9. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and reserve and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. So it don't matter, you know, I mean, sometimes you know a guy is wicked. But if you can catch the wickedness before he can get in, that would be the time to not let him in. That would be the time to tell him to keep it moving. And if he proves himself to uh to Yahweh Shem Yahweh then and he's continuing then maybe he will come to the fold but a lot of times it's it's not that way and sometimes it takes more than one uh, you know obviously it takes more than one brother to kind of read the spirit and understand if this good fruit or this is bad fruit and for you niggas that's even in GMS that's doing the same thing that these other niggas are doing just trying to supplant and just using making an excuse then this scripture applies to you the unjust unto the day of judgment will be punished you will be punished man at the end of the day and then it's not about uh my word and my saying okay at the end of the day it's about what you how about shimmy i say you claim that you love the lord you claim you love the brotherhood you claimed all of that man instead of just leaving and going and doing your thing and you could have just jumped into another camp if that's your bag. But you're haters of your how about Shimmy Shah, man. That's all I have on that, man. I want to say Shalom.